Aurora, Colorado's police chief promises changes in officer training after a black family's terrifying encounter with police. Eyewitness video shows four kids aged 6 to 17 face down in a parking lot swarmed by officers. They mistook the family's car for a stolen vehicle. Errol Barnett shows us how the police chief of that Denver suburb is responding to this alarming incident. Any person watching that video, it, it had to be disturbed. I don't know how these kids are ever going to trust the police again. It's an incident rattling the Aurora community and horrifying police chief Vanessa Wilson. They never should have been put in that situation. They never been, should, should have been treated that way. On Sunday, officers forced Brittany Gilliam and her family out of their car at gunpoint. The four children, screaming and crying for Gilliam, ordered to lie face down on the hot concrete. Two of them placed in handcuffs. Them kids are not okay. They are never going to be okay. That is a traumatic experience. Would your kids be okay after that? Wilson says officers followed protocol for approaching a suspected stolen vehicle, but she said they need to use better judgment in these situations. They have to react to the human element in this and the fact that these kids were traumatized and crying and calling for their mother. Um, we should have stopped that, that uh, call and, and, and done something differently. Stop. The controversy Stop. follows the Stop. death of 23-year-old Elijah McLean last year. Aurora officers detained him after they say he was acting suspiciously. They put him in a chokehold and paramedics injected him with ketamine. He died several days later. The department later banning the use of that neck restraint. The scene from last weekend mirrors another incident in Washington, D.C. last month when a Secret Service cruiser rammed into a parked vehicle carrying two black mothers and their kids. The mothers allege an agent pulled a rifle on them, saying their car had been flagged as stolen and that the suspects were two black men. One mother says she showed proof she owned the car. Once they knew that there were um, children in the back, they should have been like, Guns down, guns down. These are not the two black men that we're looking for. Exactly. People want officers and law enforcement across the nation to be held accountable. I totally agree with that. Now, the Secret Service says it is conducting a fair and thorough investigation of that D.C. incident, going on to explain that it was informed that a person who had once driven the car should be considered armed and dangerous. Now, as far as Aurora and its police chief, Vanessa Wilson, she's led the department for seven months and shares that she has personally reached out and apologized to Brittany Gilliam and her family, also passing along the note that the city has offered to pay for their therapy. Jerika. Wow, Errol, and that's big because you wouldn't normally hear about that happening, but I think we're in a moment where people realize the traumatic right. uh, events and the impact that it could have. Errol, thank you.